Hi everyone. Today, what we're going to be doing is a little bit different from what we usually do. In this video, we are going to be proving some geometric theorems. So, um, before we start, I'd like to make a couple things clear first. When we have two triangles, such as this one and this one, uh, if we've been given that, uh, let's name these two triangles, A, B, C, and D, E, F. If we have been given that any one of their sides is equal, so let's say A, B, and D, E, if A, B is given equals to D, E, that A, C, any one of their other sides, AC is equals to DF, and the angle at BAC and EDF is equal, ABC is equals to EDF, then these two triangles are equal in all respects. So, this rule is called the SAS rule. Because uh, we've been given that one side, so one side, one angle, and oh wait, uh, two sides, sorry. Two sides have been given a uh, equal, so um, uh, and one angle is equal, so we call this the SAS angle. One thing to be noted though, this angle must be the angle formed by the two sides. Say um, if we've been given that uh a b a b a c is equals to e f d then we cannot say that um this applies to the s a s rule the angle formed uh the angle formed must be uh formed by the two angles which we have been given uh, i mean by the uh, by the two sides So um, this is one thing to be noted. And now let's go ahead and start our uh, uh, proof. So what we have to prove in this video is if we've been given two tri uh, uh, this triangle and we have been given that two sides of it are equal, this and this side. Uh, so let's name this triangle A, B, C. So we've been given that AB is equals to BC. And now uh, we've uh, now what we did, we have bisected the angle B. So that means these two angles are equal. So if these two angles are equal, what we need to prove, we need to prove two things. So number one, we must prove that A, uh, let's name this point D. So we must prove that uh, A, uh, that AD is equals to DC. And the second thing we have to prove is that ADB is equals to BCD is equals to 90 degrees. So we need to prove that BDA and BDC are both uh, right angles. So let's prove the first one first. AD is equals to DC. So if we've been given that AD is equals to, we need to find out, we need to prove in some way that AD is equals to DC. So let's take a look at our triangle. I will reconstruct it right over here. So ABC. B, C. 
So what we've been given, uh, let's turn this into two different triangles. One over here and the other one over here. So these are two different triangles. Now, um, so our first triangle is triangle ADB, and our second triangle is triangle BDC. Now let's uh, look at a few things at both of these in both of these triangles. So we've been given that AB is equals to BC. Because it's been given in the question that angle A, that side AB is equals to side BC. So this is our first uh, part of the SAS theorem. So this is the first side. Then again, uh, B, uh, the other side is BD. Since these two have a common BD, we can easily say that BD is equal to BD, meaning that both of their sides is equal. So this is our second side. And lastly, the, the angle right over here and right over here. So angle ABD is equal to angle DBC because that was also given in the question since ABC was bisected, meaning they uh by uh they they uh sectioned the angle into two angles which were equal. So ABD is equals to DBC. So now we have the SAS. So that means that we can prove that angle that the triangle ABD, ADB, and BDC. Both of these triangles are equal in all respects. So knowing this, we can also state that the uh, that both of the sides are equal. So hence, AD is equals to DC, which is what we had to prove in the start. So. We, uh, we have proved our first theorem, which is AD is equals to DC. So this has been proved. Now, let's do the second part, which is having to prove that both angles at the bottom are equal. So I will reconstruct our triangle right here. So ABC. And this has been bisected. Then AB is equal to BC, and we have to prove that A uh, that ADB is equal to BDC. So this is our second part of the question, which is to prove that angle ADB is equal to angle BDC. So I'm going to move this image a bit to the right. Now what we're going to do is exactly uh, what we did in the last question. So we're going to turn the, oh, my bad. So we have two triangles, one over here. Oops, that did not come out so well. So this is our first triangle, and the second one is right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to form our statements. We know that AB is equals to BC. AB is equals to BC, which is S. We also know that ABD is equals to BDC. And we also know that BD is equals to BD which is pretty obvious. And now we have our, well, uh, statements, which form the SAS theorem. So now we know that the triangle ABD is equals to BDC, blah, blah, blah. 
we did this in our last equ- uh, question. So we can state that both triangles are equal. And since they're both equal, we can also state that the angle ABD is equal to BDC. So ABD is equal to BDC. But the question stated that we needed to prove it was 90 degrees. So how do we do that? Well, since this is a triangle, we know that the line AC is a straight line, which means that uh, it is on 180, it forms an 180 degree angle. So what can we write AC as? AC is the same thing as ADB plus BDC. So that is the same thing as 180 degrees. And since ABD is equals to BDC, from over here, we can tell that ADB or... um, uh, any of these, so two of these, gives us 180 degrees. So ADB, so we substituted for BDC as ADB since they're the same thing. That's what we've done. So ADB is equal to 180 degrees divided by 2. We just divided both sides by 2, meaning that ADB gives us 90 degrees. And since ABD is equal to BDC, as we wrote over here, we can tell that ADB is equals to BDC, which is equals to 90 degrees, which is exactly what we had to prove here. So this again has been proved. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope you're walking away with a little bit more knowledge about geometric theorems. So, so once again, thanks for watching and be sure to watch our other videos on algebra and geometry and a lot of other problems.